Good morning. Sorry if I sound tired. I had a very hard time sleeping last night. Before I jump into this article, we're going to go over the good news. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that he who believeth in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. He who believeth in him. It is not of works, least any man shall boast. How are you rapture ready? You believe Jesus is the Son of God who came down from heaven, born of a virgin, lived a sin-free life, took on our sin on the cross, suffered, died, and was buried. But on the third day, he's alive. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. The shedding of his blood washes all of our sins clean, past, present, and future. When you believe and you've repented, it's a change of mind. You are rapture ready. Which is literally going to happen at any minute. I know it's a bummer that we're still here, but God's timing's perfect. There could be a family member or friend that still needs to be saved. But that time is approaching. Fast. And I'm going to be looking for you at the marriage supper. This is from Warren is 247. This you have to translate. Sorry. Ra Matt, R U A M A T. Uh, Putin, Saudi Arabia, threatened the G7 with a massive sell off of European bonds if they touch Russia's assets. We will hit France. And it's debt first. Saudi Arabia, the new BRICS member, and now a close ally of Russia, has threatened G7 member states with a massive sell-off of European bonds if they seize Russian assets. Bloomberg has reported this unprecedented threat to the dollar and the euro. They caught everyone by surprise. According to Rihad, R-I-Y-A-T-H, I want to say that wrong, sorry. The first target... Could be France and instead. Bloomberg. Saudi Arabia threatened with a blow to the French debt. If Russian frozen if Russia's frozen three hundred billion dollars were seized. Saudi Arabia hinted privately earlier this year that it might sell off massive holdings of European government bonds if the G7 seizes nearly $300 billion of frozen Russian assets. People familiar with the matter told Bloomberg. The kingdom's finance ministry expressed to some of his G7 counterparts his opposition to the idea, which was intended to support Ukraine. With one source describing what Saudi Arabia said as a veiled threat. The Saudis were specifically referring to French debt, two of the sources said. In May and June, the G7 explored different options regarding the Russian Central Bank's foreign bond funds. The group of seven traditional industrialized countries eventually agreed to take the profits and leave the assets themselves untouched for now, despite pressure from the U.S. and U.K. to consider bolder options, including outright seizure. Wow. Wow. Some Eurozone member states were against the idea, worried it could undermine the currency. Saudi Arabia's stance likely influenced those countries' reluctance, said Bloomberg sources, who asked not to be identified to discuss private talks. Quote, there were no such threats, end quote, according to a statement sent by the Saudi Ministry of Finance. Quote, our relationship with the G7 and others is one of mutual respect, and we continue to discuss all issues that promote global growth and strengthen the resilience of the international financial system. The kingdom's assets in euros and French bonds may be worth tens of billions of euros, but they are probably not big enough to make a significant difference if sold. I think they're just talking about it just to uh, stick it to them, basically. Um, European officials remain concerned 
that other countries might follow Saudi Arabia's lead. A Saudi official noted that it was not in the style of the country's government to follow through on such threats, but that it was probably simply describing the G7 members the potential consequences of any seizures. Saudi Arabia's position changed after the G7 countries submitted a proposal that does not expropriate the assets, one of Bloomberg's sources said. The French government did not immediately respond to Bloomberg's request for comment. At a summit in Italy in June, after months of discussions, G7 leaders agreed on a financial structure that would provide Ukraine with about $50 billion in new aid. What about everybody you know, around the world that's financially struggling right now? Because I know the United States isn't the only one struggling to put food on the table and gas you know, in their cars. The seven member states in the European Union have agreed to provide loans that will be repaid using profits from Russia's roughly 260 billion euros in pledged funds, most of which are in Europe. The funds are expected to generate between 3 billion euros and 5 billion euros annually. But Saudi Arabia, and this is on a tweet, X, whatever it's called now, Saudi Arabia privately hinted earlier this year it might sell some European debt holdings if the group of seven decided to seize almost 300 billion in Russia's frozen assets. Saudi Arabia's alleged threat to G7 leaders to sell off European government bonds if it were to freeze 300 billion in Russian assets following Moscow's invasion of Ukraine has sparked consternation. The reason for these sentiments on the part of the G7 towards the possibility is because Saudi Arabia is the world's largest exporter of crude oil. Yeah, that's the truth. Like, oil isn't high enough now, but see, they don't care. They don't care about us. Wherever you're listening around the world, your government leaders don't care about you. We put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ. We know things are not going to get better. We know they're going to keep getting worse. But the good news is we ain't going to be going through all this much longer. The world will. We won't. And its central bank has net foreign exchange reserves of $445 billion. The Sovereign Wealth Fund also has assets of nearly $1 trillion. Neither the central bank, known as SAMA, nor the Wealth Fund breaks down foreign assets by currency or country. However, it is known, according to Bloomberg, that most of the placements are in dollars. Saudi Arabia holds... One hundred thirty-five billion in U.S. Treasuries. Boy, oh boy! You know that uh, country song. I feel a headache coming on. Yeah. According to the latest U.S. government figures, Saudi Arabia holds one hundred thirty-five billion worth of treasuries. According to the latest, oh, <laughs> they have the same paragraph printed twice. I wonder if they realized that. Well, clearly they didn't. (laughs) Bloomberg reports that there was little movement out of G7 currencies when Russian assets were first frozen shortly after the full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February of 2022. Yep, so Saudis have warned G7 against Russian seizures. And, um... Yeah, so if this happens, if you think gas is expensive now, and those of you that your only source of income is, say, delivery, or your main source of income is delivery, I'm spending about $15 a day on gas, which I don't have. You think things are right now? Man, we are getting a glimpse of what the tribulation is going to be like. And it is going to be horrific. You do not want to be here for that. I will leave the link to this article in the description box. Just click, um, sometimes I'm asked, oh, how do you get to the description box? You just click the title of the video and it should take you to it. People look at us like we're one fry short of a Happy Meal. They roll their eyes. They, they don't pay, they're not paying attention to the warnings that we're giving them. Jesus could return any minute. And those that are left behind
the only way they're going to be able to eat, have electricity, gas for the car, medicine, you name it, whatever you need today, like food, gas, you know, like electricity, medicine, um, what else, going to the bank, doing anything, leaving your house, unless you have that mark in your right hand or forehead. The Bible says no man will be able to buy or sell unless he has that mark. You take that mark, that's it. You're separated from God for all eternity, and you will spend eternity burning in hell. If you don't take the mark, they will cut off your head. This is going to be the beast system that is approaching. That's why all this is happening. So we could go home any minute. You don't want to be here for what's about to happen. And it's sad that the world looks at us like we're crazy. But all we can do that every day that we're here is keep planting seeds. Getting these many brothers and sisters on that boat as possible and get our left behind letters together. I'm excited. I'm about to have my new healthy body. I'm going to... It, no more sleep in trouble. <laughs> I don't think we sleep in heaven. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't think we sleep in heaven. Do we? We are about to see Jesus face to face. Our Heavenly Father face to face. Family that have passed on. I'm going to see my, my dad and my grandma again. And all the pets you have ever owned in your life running up to you at once. That's what we're looking forward to. The world's preparing for a war. So people can keep looking at us like we are one fire short of Happy Meal. That's fine. Fine with me, man. Because I know where I'm going. You know where you're going. We're going home soon. And we're going home. I'm going to be looking for you at the marriage supper at the remember brownie table. Oh my, can you imagine brownies in heaven? Oh my gosh. And those of you that are menopausal, no more menopause. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm going to have my new healthy body. No more breathing trouble. No more um, stomach issues. What else have I had? I've had so many throat issues. Um, I can't remember. I'm half asleep right now. I love you guys. Thank you for your love and your prayers and your support. Thank you so much. And I pray for all of you and your family every day. God bless you. And I'll talk to you soon.